Hey everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a quick video. These are my January favorites. I haven't filmed a favorites video in a very long time. I pretty much just keep using the same products. I like what I like and I rarely stray from them. And so today I feel like I have a good enough amount of products that I wanted to share with you so that maybe you could be enticed to go buy your own products and see if you like it. Or maybe you can agree with me or show me new products that you liked this month so that I could buy more stuff. Just kidding. Um, so if you'd like to see my January favorites, then please keep on watching. I think the first thing that we're going to do is skincare. Um, I have a pretty strict skincare regimen. If you want to see my Holy Grail products, I made a video recently and I'll list that down below. And one of the products that I mentioned was the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. This soap I have quickly fallen in love with because I really think that it has changed my skin, it really made it even, and it's quick and easy, and I was getting a little bit tired paying for my Cetaphil. It's kind of expensive, and considering that there's not much to it, the two bottles that I would buy from Costco amounted to like $27 or something. This soap in particular I have added to my skincare regimen recently, and I think it has made a whole of a difference. Um, it has evened up my skin tone and really made it smooth. Um, one of the struggles that I had with Cetaphil was that it kept my skin clear, but I was constantly having these like white heads right around here, and I didn't know why. I was avoiding, you know, excess sebum by incorporating lots of oils and stuff, and so I didn't know why I was still getting those damn little white heads. So using the soap, it has really helped to alleviate all of that, and it has helped even out my skin tone. Not that it was really crazy, but. I've noticed that my skin looks so smooth and so soft and I really appreciate that. And um, I know that this soap helps with eczema and I think I'm starting to develop eczema. Um, and it's been very helpful. Uh, it helps soothe it, it doesn't dry it out. So I really thank the soap for that. Um, I'm having a slight breakout right here. I think I'm also becoming allergic to wool which is perfect because I, will wear, I, will, I wear wool scarves and wool coats, so what am I going to do? Uh, the next product that I'm going to talk about is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Now I have discovered this in the beginning of January. My friend Rachel turned me on to it because she made a blog post that really raved about it. I'll link that down below. And I picked it up in the color 310 Sun Beige. It matched my CoverGirl Outlast. 3-in-1 foundation, it's pretty much spot on, and I wear the color 857 Golden Tan in this one, and I was looking for a foundation that I could use every day that was lightweight, but still kept me matte. The thing about the CoverGirl 3-in-1 is that it does keep me matte, but for about 4-5 to five hours. Now, I was contemplating whether it was my primer, which I'll talk about in a second, and so I was just looking for something that was going to keep me matte all day without having to touch up because I'm constantly with children um, or I'm you know in the playground or whatever I don't have time to blot and to check if I'm greasy or oily so I really look for something that's long lasting because I pretty much work eight hour days maybe longer because I commute before and after and so I wear my makeup pretty early in the morning about 7 30 in the morning and I need it to last until four or five um, or if I go out later that day I still want it to look decent um, so I decided to pick this up and I was pleasantly surprised. At first I was like, mm, it's okay, there's nothing much to it, it's not really doing anything for me. And then I went back to my 3-in-1 and I noticed that I was able to see the 3-in-1 in my skin. Like right at the sides of my nose, I saw the foundation and I was like, oh my gosh, I never noticed before how much this shows up on the skin. Because after I use this one, it blends in so seamlessly you can't even tell it's on. It looks like nice skin. And, you know, on top of the skincare that I'm using, my skin has been smoother. This just goes so well on it. So if you have decent enough skin, you have nothing too much to cover other than, you know, slight redness and maybe uneven skin tone, this would be a great foundation for you. And it's supposed to be matte and poreless, which I think it does promise that, and it does live to that promise. Because right here, I don't really see pores as much as I used to and I don't and I, the nose is where it shows me the most. The, my nose still looks so smooth. Mm -hmm. This is some good stuff. Now I applied that with a stippling brush. This happens to be the Real Techniques stippling brush. 
I use e.l.f. stippling brushes. I think I used it in my last tutorial or the tutorial that I'm going to put up next for Valentine's Day. And it's just, it applies really well. It also goes with my next favorite, which is my Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Primer. This Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, I have definitely been enjoying because I used to use my e.l.f. primer and I felt like it was good and I've been using it for so long that I really didn't try anything else just out of you know convenience but I noticed that it wasn't lasting as long as I wanted to I was blotting at my lunch break which is at 11 and that just wasn't hitting the mark for me that's like almost four hours into my shift and that that was annoying so I picked this up on a whim I had heard so-so reviews on it and so I wanted to see it for myself and I was pleasantly surprised yet again and that's because I felt like all over my skin lasted longer with the foundation than it has ever been and it has a really nice texture like if there are days when I don't want to wear makeup but I at least want to look matte I'll just put a little bit of this on and I feel like it mattifies my face and it will last throughout the day so that says a lot so I really like this um, it helps with the longevity of my foundation and it works really well with these two together so I really liked using these together this month so let's see Another thing that I've been loving, and I've been loving this since I got it, and it's not, you know, new, but I feel like I really shouldn't show you because it's not available anymore. It's the 12 hour Amazonian clay blush palette from the holiday collection, and I have seriously been using this since I got it every single day. It makes all my blushes go to shame because it's so accessible, everything I need is in here, and the colors are beautiful, and I have yet to hit pan at all. They last all day. I'm wearing two of them on over some blush that I had put on earlier today and you know any look that I'm doing all of them work and all of them will match. I will find the color that I need so that has been a good staple product in my collection for the past like four months. If they ever put it back or have some kind of version for it next year definitely hop on it because I always regretted skipping out on the first one and I had the first one in my hand so many like two years ago or something and I didn't buy it and I kicked myself in the butt ever since and as soon as they told me that they were selling this palette I hopped on it I got it right away it arrived smashed and so I had to return it and luckily the store that I had my local Sephora still had it in stock I grabbed one really quick and I was able to exchange it no hassle and I have loved it so definitely, if you get a chance to get at least any of the Tarte blushes, I feel like the texture will be the same. They're really nice blushes, and I'm very happy that I got to have this palette. Another thing that I've been loving, and it's thanks to my boyfriend Mike, he got me this Benny Gold. It's called the Artist Roll, I think. I will also list it down below, but it's sold out. We actually had to buy this one from Asia because it was the only boutique that was still selling it. And what I like to use it for is it is a brush roll with all of these different sort of pen holders and this is really made for artists like illustrators um, designers stuff like that but I use it for a makeup brush roll and so I stick brushes in there and it fits perfectly and I can fit so many eye brushes it also has some of these larger um, tabs so that you can fit larger brushes and I took this on a trip with me if you haven't seen some of my vlogs it shows in one of those vlogs um, and it was really great it's such it's, it's really good quality it's got this kind of like canvas texture and leather um, faux leather probably it looks like faux leather yeah it's faux leather faux leather right here the stitching is nice um, it's just got a nice like nice Benny Gold touch and if you ask my boyfriend Benny Gold is is a homie. Another thing that I've been loving and I really can't stand saying that I like them because I used to give them so much crap um, because at first I thought they were streaky, I thought I didn't like them, but it's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I had this one which is called Amsterdam. It's in their old packaging and because it looks like they're newer now. Yeah, this is Amsterdam. I got it Urban outfitters for six dollars and I had you know just tried them and at first I wasn't wowed by them they didn't really last long I felt like they cracked on the lips and whatever and then I decided to get four more colors one day and um, I accidentally got Transylvania and then it turned out to be something that everybody wanted and I had no idea 
And this one was the one that made me not even like it even more because I felt like it was more streaky. Um, and then I got Zurich, and Zurich changed my life because Zurich, I was like, Oh, I'm gonna get it. I got it iMats out on a whim. I got one for my friend Angela and uh, I decided to get one for myself. I wasn't really sure what color it was gonna be. It's actually too light for me. So I used, um, like right now I have uh, NYX Mauve lip liner under it. There's another like um, LA Girl, I think a natural that I use under it that I really like and it creates this sort of like really nice mauve nude and Ever since then, then I got all these other colors. So then I got Cans, and then I got Morocco, and like now I'm freaking hooked, and I hate it because I want all the colors now. So these are really cool. They're really inexpensive. They're $4.99. I'm sure this isn't news. Like a lot of people rave about this on YouTube and social media, um, and so I have to retract my previous statement. I do like them, <laughs> and I it shows. Ooh, human favorite. So, my human favorites, I know people do this, and I can't pick one because I'm going to say all of my makeup social friends. This app is called Makeup Social. If you're not on it already and you're a beauty fiend, then you need to get this app. I think it's only available for Apple iPhone users for now, but I know they're making an Android version, unless they've already made one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I've met a lot of good people so far, so supportive, so enthusiastic about makeup. And it's kind of weird because we just all enable each other to buy all of these things and to use all of these things and you know we're just repeating the cycle for this addiction um, but there I've met some really good girls from there a lot of friends that I have mentioned done collabs gone on makeup dates with and so it's been really fun for me because as much as I love my real friends right now a lot of them do not have the same insanity that I have and so it's nice to have friends who are into it as much as I am and you know we talk about like what kind of lighting do you use what kind of cameras do you use do you film every day do you use this product what kind of product do you like da -da 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 -da. And we text for hours and hours and you know it's fun and so I've been happy enough to meet some of these girls and um, you know, it's, it's been a really fun ride. So I will list their YouTubes, their blogs, their makeup social things, I don't know, whatever. I will list my friends down below and hopefully you check them out because we are all trying to hustle in this beauty community game and you know, we're all just trying to help each other out. Uh, we really love what we do and so we're trying to show you all. So I'm going to end this video because I'm running out of battery, out of memory, out of something, running out of my mind. I'm so tired, I'm hungry now, and so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too all over the place, but it probably is because it's me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! It's been a very long time since I filled any favorites video. Filled? I think I'm developing an allergic reaction to wool. I listed all around soap if you wanted to use it in the shower. You know, just use it everywhere you want. Yes. You're not in it. It's facing me. Hey. Oh. See, that's what I get for not liking them. It pokes me in the eye.